hello guys welcome back to unity gurus in this tutorial we will add a load next level method so that when we complete a level we will jump into the next set of this group we also add a uh, score system to update our score and then lastly we will add our score multiplier so if we successfully hit all the cans in one with one ball then this will increment as well okay so without wasting a time let's get started so as you can see we are continuing from the lesson 4 uh, what I have done in this lesson is uh, I have set uh, different kinds of can groups for each level right now we are only using 5 level you can create many more any more as much as you want so uh, let's jump into the coding okay so first of all I am setting up my home UI dot set active is equal to true okay we have uh, in the last tutorial we have added this uh, ball icons and uh, now this in this level we will add a load next level method so let's start it to load the next level uh, I would uh, need some reference I would need a ball script uh, I will cache the reference to ball script okay and uh, I also need a public boolean game has started so that we can check uh, when the game has started and in the start game method I will add game has started is equal to true and in the UI manager uh, where we started the start routine we will call this function game manager instant to start game so now work on the load next level method so which we are calling when all the cans are grounded so quickly make this function and we will simply make a coroutine load next level routine and in the load next level method we will check if the game has started then simply call start core routine load next level routine okay first of all uh, I would like to debug loading next level then uh, first I will wait for some seconds so that we can uh, show uh, I'm waiting just because uh, I uh, so that I can show some score word and then instance dot show black fade so right now it's not showing so I need to make it public okay sorry and so we will show a black fade screen once the our level is complete next uh, we will set our ready to short parameter to false and we will disable our current level so whichever level is active that means like uh, the one is active so we will disable the one and enable the set number two so for that simply all level current level dot set active is equal to false and then simply current level incremental level and we will also check that if current level is greater than all levels dot length then simply current level will equal to zero so that we never get an uh, error we again uh, wait for some seconds before loading uh, the next set you'll return new and wait for seconds about uh, one second and then we will enable our current level 
which is the level two if we are in level one so current level dot set active is equal to true so we have uh, as you can see we have disabled our current level and uh, enable our next set of the next level and after that we will simply ui manager dot instance dot update our ball icons which we have added in the last tutorial and in our ball script dot reposition ball so we will also reset our ball before going to the next level okay so this much is for the next level routine so let's test this i hope everything is set up and jump into the unity editor and set the references so this is bowl script so apply the reference and all the cans are already referenced so let's test this start game and fade screen and we have successfully loaded the next level as you can see this is now set to and load next level loading next level okay so for now our load next level is working fine the next task is to add score text we will simply go into the ui manager and add some reference first we will make a public integer score next we public text score text which is in, in our scene and next we need to add a method to update a score so for that public void update score and in this score we will uh, call this function whenever one can is grounded we will simply increment one score for one can and our score text dot text is equal to score dot to string score dot to string okay and we will call this our update function in our can script whenever a can is dropped is triggered by the ground object so here we will call ui manager dot instance dot update score okay let's test this um score so go into our game ui scoreboard and this is our let me turn off this one this is our text score so set it to zero initially it will be zero and add a reference to this and test this again right now our score is uh, zero and if i there are two corner drives so our score is two and our score is now set three okay and this time five six seven okay so our score is also updating correctly the last thing which i want to use uh, the score multiplier so that if we hit all the cans in single hit so we will get a multiplier bonus okay to add the score multiplier i have already imported a script uh, and this is a sprite and 2d ui we will add this in our game ui in the scoreboard so let's jump into this okay so in the scoreboard i will add ui and an image the image is our star right now i'm holding alt and shift and attaching it to the top right corner slightly outside there and adding a text and this is also uh, setting this to stretch alt and shift and this one alignment to center and font to luckiest guy color i will use yellow best fit 1040 and this is it name it to score multiplier image and score multiplier text
okay fine and disable it because we will enable it whenever we need it so having done that next uh, added jump into the coding and we'll need reference to this score multiplier I need a public integer score multiplier uh, which is initially is one so public uh, game object score multiplier image score multi image player image and public text score multi player text to calculate this we need a ref uh, a variable shooted ball i don't know it is right or wrong but shooted ball so uh, this will be uh, each time we shoot a ball we will increment this plus 1 like this shooted ball plus plus and at the end of the game if the shooted ball is count 1 this means if we only use one ball to hit all the cans this means in the next level we will add a multiplier of 2 uh, it will keep uh, increasing if we using just one ball to hit all the cans okay i hope you understand this so in the ui manager let's uh, add a function to update our score multiplier for that public void update score multiplier if game manager dot instance dot shooted ball is equal to one this means we only one ball to shoot all the objects then we will score multiplier plus plus we will increment it and score multiplier image will be active dot text will equal to score multiplier dot to a string if not means if it is greater than uh, if we didn't use uh, more than one ball then we will simply set this back to the one means no increase for multiplier and we also disable this score multiplier sorry score multiplier image and in this data score method we will multiply this score multiplier by one so if it is one then we are not uh, adding any kind of multiplication if it is more than one so we will add a multiplier to scores okay so here we call this function ui manager dot instance dot update score multiplier and we also shoot it ball is equal to zero for the end of the every level add my reference this is score multiplier image now test this start my game and we have successfully hit all three cans in one object so next time okay uh, but it is only showing one so I think there is some problem sorry my problem dot text dot text is equal to one okay uh, okay this time I got it and all three cans in one hit and this are now we have a score multiplied of three and if now we hit two cans we add six plus three is equal to seven and if we hit them again oh oops we will fix this later is some problem and okay so four seven plus four is equal to eleven okay fine this is working fine okay so that's pretty much it if you have any queries please uh, write down in the comment section below Thank you guys, thanks for watching, see you in the next tutorial.